Okay, the next step is actually figuring how much fabric we need for each chair seat. Okay. All right. It's very simple on this. We're going to take our tape, run it front to back. All right. What I want to see is at about an inch and a half, if you want a little bit more to pull on, we'll two say inches. two. Okay. And then come up this side, give it a little tug. We're at 19, 18 and three quarters. Let's go to 21 front to back. And then side to side, we'll do the same thing, and we'll a little snug. Now pick the widest part, which is up front here. Well, and that yeah, if your chair is at a at an angle, they all usually yeah. are. Yeah. Okay, this one looks like it's 23. Okay. Side so to 23 side. 23 side to side. Now, what that does is that has showed you dead center. Right. So if we're using our fabric that's got a pattern or a floral on it, let's use that to our advantage. So you've got a ten and a half and you've got a eleven and a half. Yep. Dead center on both of those. Right. Okay. And so that would be an easy way to find out where the center is going to be. Okay. If your chair seat, if you want that pattern to be uh, stationed a little bit differently, uh, a little bit forward or whatever, uh, you just you can use the same numbers and just say alter where I you... want it an inch and a half more forward. Okay, so you'd say now I'm going to use that eight and a half or nine inches or whatever. Okay. Okay. It also tells us the size of leather that we need to cut out. So we've got chalk here, and we need a rule. I will get you one. The thing you want to look at if you are doing leather is we're on the face of the leather right now. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's where any scars are going to be. Oh. Now, right. when you buy leather, they call scars character. <laughs> I say be. they're a mistake. <laughs> you want to cut around them. Use the nicer pieces of leather. You know, you, if we're, we've done multiple right. pieces, this is actually scrap from this job. And yeah. now we've cut well enough to where we can still get a few more pieces out. Pieces out but here. you get too far over to the edge, and you see along the edges, it's... it's this is a leg, okay? Yeah. And this is the underside of the leg. And it looks totally different than what this looks like. Sure. It's got a lot more lines to it, so... You have like to watch this area on the outside of the leg. Uh, this is the front shoulder, and what happens is, you know... The they scrape again, bit. and if you're going to have scarring, it's usually going there. to be in this okay. area. The center back is your thickest piece as far as that and your... Okay. Okay, so... You're going to mark that. The one thing that we wanted to also let you know is if you are using a patterned fabric, the paisley that we showed you know, a little bit earlier, or the floral that we were looking at, one of the things to keep in mind is that you want to cut every seat exactly the same. So whatever center point, when Mike talked about where your center point is, make sure that center point is matched up for every one of the ones that you cut. And your edges are exactly all the same. Otherwise, you're going to look at all six chairs. One's going to be one way and one's going to be another. It's not going to look right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Now we had 23 as our second number. We already had a straight line to work with on this hide. And we used a square, so. All right, there's our piece we're gonna utilize today. I keep my scissors very sharp. They are sharp because this <laughs> is very, very thick. Some of the upholstery fabrics that have the chenilles in them are also very thick, so you're going to need a heavy-duty scissors to cut some of those. It's not like cutting your cotton. Actually, I've had some uh, more problems cutting some heavy fabrics than I have cutting leather. All right, there's our nice yes. piece of leather. Okay, chair seat. Now, let's see. I like this part better. You've got a little more of the wrinkles back here, so that's going to be the back. The back. All okay. right. 
So, back the to one thing chairs. you might want to do, this chair, we can tell which one's the back. But if your chair seat is a little more square, you might want to mark which one's the back so that you know. That's um, true. And you might not know until you go to put it on the chair. And if you put your fabric on the wrong way, you're not going to be happy about that. So yeah. mark the front and the back. Let's take this and kind of center, center it a little bit. Uh, what you're going to find with leather... is leather stretches all directions. Well, that's not like fabric. Fabric usually is doesn't have that much of a stretch. Vinyl stretches one way, but not the other. Okay. okay. Usually. Usually. Uh, leather stretches all directions. It's, it's a skin. Okay. Okay. Well, and some of the fabrics, like you said, even like the bigger upholstery, you know, the thicker upholstery fabrics, some of those have a little different stretch depending on which way you're, it's being cut or you're using the fabric. Most of the time you can work with it. It's, it's fairly easy. With this technique, it will be easy. Uh, it's the same with leather that stretches all directions or fabric that doesn't stretch any direction. Now, Good. here's how we start. We've kind of a preliminary centering. <laughs> and what that'll do is, if you had a pattern on this and a front... Like the you, stripe or a Yeah, plaid. so your seat wasn't tilted at an angle, you can actually make center marks on here and you can kind of make up. a little dot 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 and line that up so that you realize the pattern is right where you want it on the other side okay with leather we've just done our line up that's fine first thing we're going to do is front to back again we'll do the back all right if you push down on the seat and pull just a little bit you put some tension on that seat. You can see where the fabric, the Dacron, ends. That's where we're going to put our staple. Just go beyond that? Okay. Yep. Now. I like that idea that you're pushing down a little bit and pulling so that it doesn't feel like you have to pull so hard. What we're going to do now is we'll hold it in the center. Okay. Now we're going to, it's that smoothing out the wrinkles. Okay. okay? And... We just want to get a good, you know, you, you don't want to do too much right at the beginning. Uh, if you tighten this up too tight. You get a crease right down the seat. Well, <laughs> you might not have that same tension all the way across. Okay. Don't get too carried away. You can always go back and remove a staple and tighten it Pull up it a up. little bit more. All right. We've got front to back. Let's do side to side.